a lot of it is stuff that she had stored down here. Okay. They just like ripped it apart, you know, so I'm trying to pick it up, clean it, and take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. Time that is convenient for you with your schedule, and I'll send them there. Over me, I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm listening. Being rude as fuck. That's we're gonna, we're gonna give it to you. That's when I started carrying the butcher knife, <laughs> and uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. This apartment was completely redone a few months before this tenant moved in. And now, oh. Yeah, they're about to hit that truck, the car. Stop, stop. Um, I go to the apartment, and there's like a trail of breadcrumbs, except it, breadcrumbs, except it's shit. And it's just like he pooped his pants and it was running down his leg, and you could see like everywhere he stopped, all the way back from uh, the gas station down the street, all the way up to the front of the apartment. You know, he must have uh, filled with his key for a little bit at the front door because there's a bunch there. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off on a place with a view. The band is never gonna... And when, uh, if, when we uh, put a lock on there, we're going to give you a key. I know. But they, that key can't be that kick. You see that? I didn't even know they broke the lock. Because I, I had a key two weeks ago. But I need the key now for. Right. But we're yeah. gonna put a lock on there, and we're That's gonna, we're gonna give it to you. That's when I started carrying the butcher knife, <laughs> and uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. All right, so we are at the house. We just pulled up to the house. I got my crew out there. That's John, and then we got all the the court appointed movers are all here. How much of their belongings are in the car? Or in the house, rather? Probably about 75%. No one's there. I'm expecting they'll probably come back, though, because Dave said they pulled off right before. Um, yeah, we thought the boyfriend was Thompson's car the whole time. Because oh. he kept staring at us. Well, yeah. Thompson's <laughs> like, those guys videotaping them. Yeah, he wants to hang out in the dark. Mm -hmm. And I took the one out there, too. That was upstairs when I come in. I just click it on the side mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. See, that was for my safety. Mm -hmm. And it goes right down the stairs in his unit. I start banging the door, I'm like, dude, come on. He's like, oh, that's not me. That's not mine. I'm like, there's a trail from point A to point B. But since these motherfuckers been coming in, oh no, I'm not in the basement, um, hot tea. They be lying to me. But yeah. no, I want you to know, set the record straight, they don't live in apartment one. Okay. Angel Cause that's the man that like his hands. Cause I got two bags of cans up there for him. This apartment was completely redone a few months before this tenant moved in. There's a bailiff right there. We have another bailiff up there. This Escalade uh, right there is actually the tenant who is currently being evicted uh she's kind of just running around screaming wanting to know where the landlord is remember this person has known that this has been coming for seven months this person has been stealing from the owner of this property for seven months now and uh you know today is the day she's got done talking to the bailiff looks like she's gonna be pulling off now well, you can't prove it. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I had to get the shovel out of my truck and clean poo out of the inside of an apartment building and off the sidewalk, and I had to have people come and scrub it off. It was gross. So fast forward a couple weeks later, we get another phone call about this guy, or about the uh, a tenant calls in and says, hey, the washing machine has shit kicked on the inside of it, and so there's a dryer. Yeah, why not? You know, I, I know a lot of these people, and you know my heart goes out for them. This property, this is located in Cleveland, Ohio. So we took all of that crap out of the apartment. So to get us to be allowed to do that, we had to spend 750. 
Then the actual cost of taking all the guys over there and removing all that crap, changing the locks, 1147 Anything that the tenant wanted or the tenant, you know, at that point, all their crap is outside, they can go to their pile of stuff and they could take it all with them. If they don't take it all with them at five o'clock, we have to go back to the property and remove all that stuff. You can't just leave crap everywhere. You'll get a fine from the city. Notice that she is driving a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> if that isn't the most ironic thing you've ever seen in your life, the fact that this girl, seven months, giving her sob story to the bailiffs, giving her sob story to the crew out there, and she pulls off in her Cadillac Escalade. Time that is convenient for you with your schedule, and I'll send them there. Over me, I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm You're listening. Being rude as fuck. I have not met Grant. I have spoke to Grant. Joe. And stop threatening to evict us because we have done nothing wrong. Joe. It requires a 24-hour notice, right? So, like, they could do it at any time with 24 hours. hours. Glad we could work it out, and it's mutually beneficial yeah, for everyone. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, mission accomplished so of course go there this dude had just been like taking his like soiled clothes and sticking them in the washing machine without uh rinsing them off even though he told me not to even use our washing machine so he's like got like you know a washing machine's not designed to get like shovelfuls of shit out of your clothes you know it's you gotta, you gotta do a little pre-treatment so these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him and they're getting his shit on their clothes. Evictions are already a pretty stressful situation, so we do not want to add any stress to this situation. We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way. Uh, so we're gonna let these guys do their thing. I got my flashlight, I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. I guess there's two, like, I feel like that lady's living down here for a little while. I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, obviously in the basement, but it's like, it looks like a mess, but it was all closed on top of this before. So it was even worse. A lot of it is stuff that she had stored down here. Okay. They just, like, ripped it apart, you know, so I'm trying to pick it up, clean it, and take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. And the canvas. But I helped take care of the... The inside of the dryer is just caked. It's all baked in there. We had to get rid of the dryer. We had to get rid of the washing machine. Thankfully, we were able to evict that guy. But, I mean, when the, me and the bailiff showed up to evict them, I, you know, talked to the bailiff and I warned him. I'm like, hey, man, just so you know, this unit smells really bad. And, you know, the bailiff's like, yeah, right, man. How bad can it be, you know? He's done 100 evictions. He's like, oh, it's nothing. We open the door, I immediately start dry heaving because the smell just like hits you in the face like someone hit you with a shovel. The bailiff like has to like turn away the smell so bad and he's trying to talk to the guy with his hand over his mouth and the guy's just like, oh, it's not me, it's not me, it's not my smell. You got a hard working American down there in North Carolina, tried to be the nice guy, tried not to evict her for those first three months and now he is seven months into this thing and this girl's giving her sob story as she pulls away in a Cadillac Escalade. Just stick this across the front door so I can tell if somebody opened the door. Here you go, don't take your shirt. Kapow. Give me key ocean key, I ain't even stuck down here. It gave me a mother my down here too. Yeah, like they run this mother field. No, no, go on, go on. You could have gone back to Columbus. You don't come here running and telling me what to do. I'm just asking why you are. Don't doing even, don't, don't even start. No, no. I stay to my I'll be cool with nobody. I stay down here. I'm trying to get my house together. Because why? My life keep going. Trying to see why my walls cracking it. Why I'm paying all this money. That bathroom wall about to fall apart. Just cakes and shit. That's all that, yummies. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I 
I think if someone from the city did come here, probably would be condemned. I'm trying to get my because I'm paying my money every month. Did y'all get that floor in there? Where that, where that what, wood about to fall in? Well, we have to go back up that way. But I'm getting the, uh, the bathroom walk right now. And then I have to go back and get that outlet. Go knock Almost, on the... Almost, yeah. Video camera. Noodle, go knock on the door and ask Bam and let them see the basement. Because Keita said she was going to give me her key. I was going to move my stuff over there. Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop, 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 stop. This is insane. This is insane. Hurry up, baby. Hello. Do you have a mouth? Do you know how to talk? Can you answer the question? company anymore. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.